Hi everyone, welcome to this vlog. My name is Lucy and nice to see you one more time. Now, I am going to explore some interesting artifacts in the collection of San Xingdui Museum. If you can see, behind me is a very tall standing figure and I'm about to go and find out where he is located in this gigantic museum. It's right here! At the time of his casting, it was the tallest bronze statue of a human in the whole world. The figure might have been a king of the Shu kingdom or a shaman. His hands might be holding an elephant tusk or making a gesture. There are dragon patterns on his rope and sun patterns on his crown. The human figure itself is 1.8 meters tall. With a small altar, the height reaches 2.6 meters. Guys, behind me is the gold staff. The gold staff was discovered in 1986. On the surface, it has patterns of a human face, fish, and birds, which are similar to the other artifacts unearthed in this area. The gold staff is believed to be a symbol of power. So guys, this right here is a gold mask. Imagine having this on your face. In 1986, about 60 different gold relics were unearthed from the San Xingdui site, as well as many pieces of pottery. Now this might be the earliest hot pot in Sichuan. And it is just right here behind me. Alongside the ancient hot pot, Many wine vessels were also found, giving us a picture of the happy life of the ancient Shu people. So guys, I was told that in this museum, I can find something that looks like a stirring well. During the Bronze Age, sun worship became prevalent all around the world because people became more reliant on agriculture. This artifact may resemble a stirring well, but it is in fact a sun well like many other sun-shaped artifacts in the museum. My trip to the San Xingdui Museum has nearly come to an end, but my study, my learning, my reflection will continue on and on weeks and weeks after I come back to Beijing. So, this is Lucy checking out. Thank you for watching the vlogs, and I'll see you as soon as I can. Bye!